This tutorial was based on one of our themes, which we used the same framework, just the different contents and the demo data. So, it might be slightly different from the theme you are using, such as logo, images, demo data, and some examples. However, as it is the same framework as you are using, you can follow this tutorial without any confusion. Today, we are going to talk about the listing types. Listing type is basically having more listing types, different name, different uh, slug, different forms and filters, and set different uh, taxonomies. Also, you can have different templates by the listing types. The previous one, you only had one listing type, one form, one group of filters, one types of taxonomies, and one templates each. If you wanted to have uh, more listing types, the only way was uh, having different categories, but it was not enough to have uh, different filters, different part. Let's say if we want to have a directory listing type and a really state the listing type at the same time. They are totally different forms, different templates, such as headers, detail pages, and such forms. Now, you can have them. This is not for only multiple listing types. If you only have one listing type, that's gonna be good to use uh, variable options. We have a pile of tabs, general, forms, template, notification, and the schema. General is adding basic information, such as a singular name and plural name. These are from WordPress requirement. We added the uh, tooltip and popover to give uh, more uh, detailed information about the each options. If you have any question, you can have a look. And you can also set the permalink name, which is gonna be the slug name. And you can set the login requirement for serving form for this listing type. If you wanna let them use without login, it's possible. The username and password will be sent via email from the their's email address. Then you should add the email address filter. The status is for the new listings. When your users submit new listings, the status will be decided by this option, publish or pending. We also have a payment option for each listings. You can enable it or disable it. Okay, let's talk about form and form filters. You can set filters and a form for each listing types. For some form, you can copy this shortcode and create a new page and add the shortcode for the Sumi form and select the Sumi form here. You can find and select the page. This will make the link to the Sumi form. If you want to see the Sumi form, you can click this button. It shows something different. It looks like uh, payment options because the payment is enabled at this moment. See? If you disable the payment, then it will be different. Okay, the payment has been gone. I'm gonna explain about the payment things uh, later because not everybody is using the payment and it's a little bit uh, set more options. Let's see about the form builder. You can create the form and customize the filters. On the left side is uh, what you are using. On the right side is uh, the available filters which you can use. I already created some for some tasks. That's why I already have some forms here. When you create a new form, there will be nothing on the left side except the title. And everything will be on the right side. Then you can just drag and drop here. Or just click add. 
You can remove the filters if you want. You can also drag and drop move where you want. And you can also change the orders. And also you can customize uh, on the, the filter types uh, here. Let me just explain about the one filter. We have a tagline, as you see here. We have uh, four types of labels. This is the outlined uh, floating label. And if we want to use the inline, it goes inside. Top orange the label is quite a common one as well. Like this. Uh, to make sure you should have the same label types for the, the same uh, low, then it doesn't break the arrangement. I like uh, the floating label outline. That, uh, let's go back. It's more space and it looks better. If you want to set the inline uh, label, you can also try this one. See, this is the inline. We recommend you to have only one level time to make more organized. We just uh, added some different for test or to show you. But the one type of level is much better. If you want to change this one to maybe a, maybe a slogan. This will be show as a tooltip. And description also you can add about this filter some uh, some information or whatever you need. See, it has been changed the uh, slogan and uh, on the description then you can see here. So this information will help your users to understand what they should add. You can add some example or some warning message or whatever you need. If you don't add anything, it won't work. This one is for the payment packages to show which package you want to use this filter. If you want to use a basic package and you need select basic and uh, if you want to use like a gold package on uh, this filter, then you can select the gold filter or something like that. I'm going to explain about the payment things later. You can also set the required uh, filter here. And if you are using compare add-on, then uh, this filter will be also on the compare filter. The width is uh, the width on the form. Also, you can uh, have a different width on the each packages because uh, each package might have a different filters to enable and disable. I'm gonna also explain about this later. Every filter has uh, these options, and you can organize them to build uh, your serving forms. It also works on the back end. However, the description and titles are here because we gotta use uh, WordPress uh, native option and listing type selection here and the feature the listing selection here. Others are exactly the same as our uh, front end. I'm going to make a new uh, listing filter uh, one by one after explain this. So let's move on the template. As you may know, we have a template builders. You can build the templates for the listing type and you can choose them here. You can choose uh, your own header for this listing type and you can have a footer for this uh, listing type. And also you can have a different uh, listing detail page for the, this uh, listing type. These two templates are for the some special uh, client uh, customization or some older users. So you don't really have to set uh, this. So basically, it's really good to have a different uh, template selection 
by uh, listing types. If you have uh, multiple listing types, you can have uh, different templates and uh, payment and uh, forms. Okay, let's move on to uh, notification. We have a notification section for the this listing type. Uh, success alert message is when you are uh, user submit the uh, listing, it shows message. You can change it whatever you want. Email notification is uh, we have a template uh, guideline. This is the variable and you can use and you can customize uh, these uh, contents to send the notification via email. This notification will be to you, site owner, site admin, and this notification is to the listing owner who just uh, submitted the listing. The new listing status is uh, pending, then uh, you can have the review. After that, when you approve the listing, then uh, the listing approval notification will be sent to the, the listing owners as well. Schema. Schema is for Google SEO, search engine optimization. We have set the default uh, schema structure, so you don't really have to change it. Uh, if you want to know about the uh, schema, you can have a look at uh, this uh, post. When Kuduro comes to your site, they take uh, the schema data to show like that. You might need to work on the SEO more, but uh, this is one of them and it might help. Now, these are the most of things about the listing types. We might add uh, more options and the minor changes to improve uh, more. And uh, we will also keep adding uh, more features okay i think we have done thanks for your time and uh, if you have any problem or questions please contact our support team and please stay with us we are planning to have more video and tutorials including new template and new listing types as you may know our template and theme is quite flexible to build a different template and a different listing type and the website. I'm gonna do some with you and I'm gonna share how to do it and the files. Okay, thanks for your time and I'm gonna come back with another tutorial.